एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम अ बिजनेस हैज डिफरेंट फेजेस एक बिजनेस को स्टार्ट करने से लेके एंड तक वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टास्क इन्वॉल्व If you want to study this topic in detail, refer to the book by S. John Publishing. Link is provided in the description box. I am Dr. Suman. Welcome to S. John Academy. We will now be talking about a different kind of angle towards economic of the business. That is the business economics and how the business is running from the beginning till the end. it is popularly known as the economic cycle and also in business terms as the business cycle in marketing also we call it by the product life cycle but precisely we will be talking about the business cycle in detail right now so what exactly is business cycle ek business mein aap kafi fluctuations dekhte hain starting from the beginning and it is not necessary that the business is going to achieve great heights in the long run or in the short run आप काफ़ी बिजनेस देखते हो जो स्टार्टिंग में ही बहुत ज़्यादा अचीव कर लेते हैं एंड देन दे स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग एट द सेम टाइम देर आर बिजनेस विच टेक क्वाइट सम टाइम टू रीच टू अ न्यू हाइट एंड देन दे स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग मे बी आफ्टर सम टाइम फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव अ गुड ग्रेट एग्जांपल ऑफ नोकिया नोकिया के साथ क्या हुआ था इट वॉज अ वेरी पॉपुलर ब्रांड एंड इट हैड अ मनोपली इन द मार्केट but with time what happened somehow nokia faced a huge challenge now what was the challenge the challenge was with their innovation the challenge was ki unko market mein sustain kaise karna hai now if they wanted to sustain in the market they had to do something new but nokia was very reluctant nokia was not at all aware ki kya aisa bhi kuch hota hai market mein ki hame innovate karna padega क्या हमारे पास और कॉम्पिटिटर्स आ सकते थे इस लेवल पे दैट दे वर सो मच अग्रेसिव दैट नोकिया को इतना लॉस सफर करना पड़ सकता था सो दैट वेज नोकिया वॉज नॉट एट ऑल अवेयर विल थिंक अबाउट एन इन डिटेल बट बिफोर दैट जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज दिस बिजनेस साइकिल बिजनेस साइकिल इज ऑल्सो नोन एज इकोनॉमिक साइकिल इन बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स एंड यू विल गेट दिस टर्म रैंडमली ओवर एंड अगेन Apart from that, we also take it as the product life cycle precisely because business cycle अपने आप में इतना बड़ा है कि उसके different parts में there is also a product which is involved. At the same time, there are multiple services which are involved. सबका अपना अपना एक cycle है What exactly is that cycle? The cycle can be termed as their entire lifetime. So now. when we talk about the interest rates the gdp the profits everything is actually intertwined with this particular thing that is the cycle of the entire business now understanding the economic period what exactly do we mean by the economic period see when there is a particular product or a service the entire term in which the time frame in which the product is being run or it is demanded or it is supplied it is for that product termed as the economic time period now this economic time period will start with certain point and end at a certain point and that is how the cycle works now the question is that this cycle is it supposed to run simultaneously throughout or it has to stop at a certain point now that we will be looking at the phases but at a later stage as we can see that it is the overall state of the economy obviously when we are talking about the economic cycle hum overall state lete economy ka for example currently we are in the state we are hosting the g20 and what is that is it going to benefit in just the political aspect or the economic aspect or financial aspect so all these things are intertwined with each other they are working in such a way that even the politics is impacting economy economy is impacting finances so if we see that this entire economy or we can say the overall state of economy is dependent on the entire work of each and every unit of the entire business 
factors like GDP, interest rates, employment, profit, all these things are obviously included in it because without them, you actually cannot work. And after that, the causes of the cycle, definitely they are highly debatable. Why so? Because at times they are very much favorable for the product, but at times they are very much against the product. So one needs to know that when you are producing a particular thing or you are planning to initiate a business or you are having a new idea, what exactly you need to look at. There are multiple factors definitely one business you cannot start any business at simultaneously or you can say spontaneously at a particular point of time. Maybe there is a festive season I am planning to start a new business. अब क्या वो बिजनेस उस पर्टिकुलर फेस्टिव सीजन के साथ रिलेट होना चाहिए या बिल्कुल अगेंस्ट द वेव जाना चाहिए दीज थिंग्स नीड टू बी केप्ट इन माइंड इफ यू आर वर्किंग प्लानिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू अ स्पेसिफिक थिंग यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट आर दीज डिबेटेबल फैक्टर्स वेर यू नीड टू स्टॉप वेर यू नीड टू स्टार्ट वॉट ऑल द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द इकोनॉमी यू नीड टू स्टडी दैट नीड्स टू बी अंडरस्टूड so moving ahead we'll talk about various phases of the business cycle from where the business begins from where a particular product will start initiating itself and then how it will move ahead whether it will reach to its peak or it will start falling that we will be understanding in the next section so various phases of business cycle as the name suggests we can already understand that there are multiple phases or we can say stages of the business cycle so over here what happens is when there are different stages one need to understand that there is some beginning and there has to be some kind of end so this is very peculiar about a business when one person is getting this thing that your business is supposed to at some point of time will it will have a degraded market then how come you will be reviving yourself that is the main strategy so business cycle again and again gives you an idea that how you are going to play with your competitors how you are going to stay in the market and how in the long run you will be modifying yourself so as to fulfill the needs of the consumers so the stages over here are expansion peak contraction and trough these are uh, you know by multiple names known in the market there can be introduction growth and then maturity and decline by the same name it is like expansion p contraction and tro and we will read about these in detail in the next slides so what is expansion this is the first and foremost stage in the business cycle as the name suggests expansion is to grow Now the point is that how we are expanding. हमारे पास expansion में बहुत सारी चीज़ें आ जाती है जैसे the economic and experience relatively rapid growth or maybe interest rates tend to be growing. At the same time, the interest rates can be low simultaneously, like vice versa. It can work. Economic indicators associated with the growth, such as employment and wages, they might also fluctuate. But here, the major aspect is that how this expansion is working over and above the normal other products or the competitive products. Now, what is happening? Let's say uh, Jio has been there in the market maybe uh, for quite a long time now. When it started. actually it initiated the business they penetrated the market now the penetration in the market was with a very good strategy that was market penetration with a very low price and even after that what they did they started distributing free sims now this was their strategy initially they knew that once i start with this i can have the market covered up and now the thing is that that they have spread in such a large market with the masses that even if i am suffering with some other network my constant thought or my instant thought would be that you know there should be some substitute and the substitute is no other than jio why so 
बिकॉज उन्होंने अपनी स्ट्रैटेजी ही इस तरीके से बनाई कि मुझे मार्केट में एंटर ही ऐसे करना है जिसमें मे बी आई एम नॉट टारगेटिंग अ स्पेसिफिक सेगमेंट बट आई एम टारगेटिंग द एंटायर मासेस एंड फॉर दैट वी ऑल हैव विटनेस्ड कि इनके अलग अलग जगह पे जहाँ जहाँ जियो के सिम्स मिल रहे थे देयर वॉज ह्यूज रश एंड नाउ वॉट इज हैपनिंग मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर हैविंग एटलीस्ट वन सिम of geo and how that is possible because of the strategy that they adopted and this is how one can sustain in the economic cycle or the business cycle and this is how the expansion phase works so here the flow of money is also different the flow of input is also different there are multiple other aspects which are working these things need to be taken care of when you start the business at the earlier stage then comes the next stage that is the peak so it is assumed that this is as the obviously name suggests this is when the growth hits the maximum rate so peak is what when you reach a certain point which you think that yes this is the point where i will be reaching out to my maximum now peak stage is the one which uh, is faced by most of the products in the market at some point of time or the other kisi bhi cheez ka substitute aata hai usme aap peak zarur achieve karoge Nokia achieved its peak at that time Samsung was the biggest competitor Samsung came up in the market it also reached its peak and we cannot say that it has declined subsequently but it is there in the market but not at that rate jisse isne start kiya tha why so because now Samsung is also facing competition from other competitors and that is why this particular stage is very important that you need to make sure that you are there you are growing at a constant pace you are not speeding up you are not slowing down but after expansion you are reaching to your height and that is done through a very uh, you know smooth pace in the long run so it typically creates some kind of imbalance in the market with the competitors but it is there for a particular product to be sustained in the market now the next stage is contraction as the name suggests we can understand that after peak obviously there has to be some kind of you know you can say decline or you can say contraction so what happens here the growth slows down i have already given you the example of nokia the growth we have seen we have witnessed the huge downfall of nokia and which was quite impossible because you know at that time they did not have any exam, uh, other substitute but nobody could have ever imagined ki contraction agar kisi business ka ho sakta hai to is speed se ho sakta hai and probably at that time the business cycles were not that much you know facing the competition that they are facing right now so the kind of competition that they are having right now is quite huge and with the time when nokia started facing this contraction people started realizing that if a brand like nokia can have such a contraction stage because their demand decreased then many other brands can face such kind of future so for that in this particular stage a business also needs to have certain strategy whereby even if their demand decrease the business is not able to adjust with the current market situation they are still having a kind of sustenance in the market we have earlier read about the shutdown point so contraction can be probably theoretically one stage where the business can feel ki hame shayad kuch time mein shutdown stage pe jana pade but that is not necessary why that is not necessary because if you strategize properly you might be there in the contraction for a larger period of time and if it is possible then probably you can stay in the tro stage so what is tro it is that stage of the cycle where the product or the business has reached the economy at the lowest most point but still this point obviously even after being a painful moment you know that it is going to be there in the decline stage lekin wo aap kafi time tak chala sakte ho that means what if nokia again coming back to the example nokia was taken over by microsoft they tried to be in the tro stage 
फॉर लॉन्ग बट सिंस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का फोटे वो नहीं था माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वॉज इमीडिएटली रिलेटेड टू द सॉफ्टवेयर लैपटॉप डेस्कटॉप तो किसी ने भी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट को एक फोन के साथ कनेक्ट करके देखा ही नहीं एज कंज्यूमर्स वी वर स्ट्रगलिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कि माइक्रोसॉफ्ट और नोकिया कैसे रिलेट हो सकता है हाउ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट कैन हैव अ मोबाइल फोन एंड दैट वॉज द कॉम्पिटिशन दैट दे वर फेसिंग and this is why this entire struggle for nokia even strengthened further and the tro stage where they were now there for maybe a short span of time resulted in a downfall and ultimately shut down so this particular stage is both an opportunity for the firm at the same time you can assume that maybe after 10 to 15 years you will have to either shut down or you will have to merge with other business or maybe you will have to modify yourself in such a way that you can again fall into the expansion phase but the consumers that you are catering they will never look into the thing that you are in the tro stage or the contraction stage because they are not the ones who are conducting the business they only look at you either in the expansion mode or in the peak mode the same way that happens with jio might be with time jio will face a huge competition with some other brand but we as users we are not looking at it like this why so because we know that even if they reach to their tro stage or maybe the contraction stage they will have ample time to be there in the market so this way somehow or the other the entire business cycle works now is the time that we have learned that apart from a common business cycle there are multiple stages in which it runs it grows before going on to the break we will be understanding we have understood that there are multiple stages of the product as well as the business it is somehow dependent on the business that how they sustain in each of the stage in the long run in the next section will learn about the marginal productivity theory and whether that is impacting the business cycle or not now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep s chand academy brings detailed lectures based on ugc curriculum as per the new education policy 2020 so do not forget to subscribe to the s chand academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting within the comfort of your home stay connected and keep watching s chand academy happy learning welcome back to s chand academy we have now understood that the entire business is running in stages but in those stages the business needs to understand that where they have to stop where they need to modify themselves where actually they need to precisely help themselves to grow but their ultimate target is to is to sustain in the market in such a way that their consumers are satisfied at the same time their other competitors are also giving them tough competition but healthy competition what exactly do we mean by healthy competition here we will be understanding further in the next section that how this competition also is contributing to the business cycle how there are different marginal productivity theories or the theory of production which is contributing to this entire cycle because at the end of the day even after looking at the fact that we are talking about the business cycle economic cycle product life cycle these are working on certain economic principles there are inputs involved there are efforts in, involved and these efforts will ultimately lead to the productivity let's now understand that what exactly are these theories and principles so here we need to understand that a certain business cycle does not happen suddenly there are certain factors involved there are certain causes involved because once you start in the business you cannot say that yes i am going to grow i am going to be there till this time i am going to reach to the peak in certain time then i'll start declining this is not in our hands at all this is not in the hands of the seller this is not in the hands of even the consumer who's con considered to be the king why so because there are certain other factors which are working and what are those factors so the causes of economic cycle are widely debated as we have discussed because they are you know employment stories then there are theories of rent interest and everything 
सो वॉट आर दो थिंग्स देर आर इंटरेस्ट रेट्स विच इंटीमेटली इफेक्ट दी प्राइजेस देर कैन बी अदर अप्रोचेज लाइक द किसियन अप्रोच विच सजेस्ट दैट इकोनॉमिक साइकिल इज कॉज बाय द वॉलिटिलिटी इन द मार्केट वॉलिटिलिटी एज इन द फ्लक्चुएशन इन द मार्केट देर कैन बी इंक्रीज इन प्राइस देर कैन बी डिक्रीज इन प्राइस देर कैन बी इंक्रीज इन एंड डिक्रीज इन डिमांड एंड सप्लाई एट द सेम टाइम सो when we say that what exactly is this particular business cycle on which there are multiple aspects like the economic uh, rent i can say the interest rate the keynesian theory which says that the volatility works there is one important thing which works behind this entire business cycle and i can also say that the business cycle results in this and that is nothing but the theory of distribution so what exactly is the theory of distribution it is kind of the sharing of national income amongst the owners of the factors of production so who are the factors of production first of all let's understand that what are the factors factors are land labor capital and entrepreneurship precisely we take land labor and capital because entrepreneur is automatically involved in conducting the entire business so what all will he take he will be taking land labor and the capital precisely because in order to conduct the business these three things are of utmost requirement for land we pay rent for labor we pay wages and for capital we pay profits and interest which are supposedly fixed in the short term now what exactly is the theory of distribution saying that when we keep these all things into our mind we come to the determination of national income because at the end our ultimate goal is to figure out what exactly is the national income and then how it needs to be systematically distributed within the economy within the economy in the sense that how the national income is being distributed to different uh, production units maybe for production or maybe for supply maybe for demand aspect we need to figure out that so the various aspects of these distribution is the personal distribution and the functional distribution personal distribution is more so related to the statistical data and you can say conclusions can be drawn from the statistics itself statistics mainly describe here as the uh, you can say the surroundings of the data that you are getting so here the data becomes very important the figures become very important what is our gdp what is our employment rate what is our rate of income these things are talked about in the personal distribution while in functional distribution we talk about the prices of land labor capital that means the rent the wages the interest all these things are the standard subject of the functional distribution once you are aware of the fact that how you are going to distribute all these things as a part of the na national economy within the entire uh, you know national uh, boundaries or you can say to the different sectors of the national economy then you can have a proper national income at the end so this needs to be understood carefully that how we are going to deal with these two aspects of distribution so as to come to the theory of distribution at the end now moving ahead there is marginal productivity theory which is very important and this marginal productivity theory will make you decide that at which particular stage you are in the business cycle so what is that this aims to elaborate on how the input of production function is valued now as the term marginal is there marginal is what additional so here what we are trying to say is that how much should a worker be paid according to their capacity how much should a worker produce in the long run that means what ek worker ek particular unit ko produce karne ke liye kitna effort dal raha hai maybe in one hour i am able to produce let's say 100 units in the next hour i am able to produce 95 units and in the subsequent hours i am producing less and less units why that is happening because of marginal productivity theory so why this is happening and why we need to look at it again and again because this theory is going to make you understand that how each and every unit is valued each and every unit can be the labor input 
can be the uh, input or output of the raw material can be the input put across by the interest rates har ek ka ek additional effort hota hai aur us additional unit se how much we are able to produce if i am putting in extra effort am i able to produce more or am i am i able to produce less this is what happens with the business in the long run this is how the business is growing or falling let's look at this in detail so the marginal productivity theory of factor pricing marginal productivity theory is divided into various aspects but factor pricing is one of the most important aspect why so because it includes all factors of production and it states that the price of factors of production will be equal to their marginal productivity that means what if i need to have the price of a particular thing set ab mujhe agar price set karna hai main kya dekhungi uski utility बट इन द लॉन्ग रन आई नीड टू फिगर आउट कि उसकी जो यूटिलिटी है वो किस पे डिपेंडेंट है मार्जिनल प्रोडक्टिविटी पे दैट मीन्स अगर मुझे स्टॉक क्लियरेंस करना है तो वो तो पुराना आइटम है पुराने आइटम को आई एल नॉट कंपेयर इट विद द फ्रेश आइटम वाई सो बिकॉज उसकी मार्जिनल प्रोडक्टिविटी रिड्यूस हो गई है एंड अकॉर्डिंगली आई एल आई दर सेल इट इन मे बी सेल or maybe i'll try to uh, you know utilize it in a way which will not give me any losses that is marginal productivity theory of factor pricing if i talk about marginal productivity theory of labor that is nothing but the example that i gave you that with each additional effort that the labor is putting maybe his outcome is getting reduced Initially हो सकता है that I am very much excited and I am putting much and more and more effort in order to get better results. तो first चार में I produced हंड्रेड unit, then maybe हंड्रेड and वन unit, then हंड्रेड and टू unit. But subsequently marginal productivity theory के according आपका utility धीरे धीरे कम होगा After that you will come to again 100 units then 99 units and then probably down and down and that is where the business cycle is defined as in the contraction stage in this entire business cycle theory what we have understood is that the marginal productivity theory is very important to decide that at which stage the entire production will be there if i am there in the expansion stage i will look at my marginal productivity again if i go on to the contraction stage maybe my marginal productivity has declined so this entire marginal productivity theory of either the labor or factor pricing will determine that at what stage i will be in my business cycle and ultimately it will result in the downfall of the business in the long run or it will result in its sustenance so this entire business cycle is dependent on the marginal productivity theory that's all from my end thank you if you want to study this topic in detail refer to the book by f john publishing link is provided in the description box if you found our video interesting please like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.